Good morning, Modern Steaders. Today we have a huge giveaway. But I'm not going to do that right now. That wouldn't be any fun. That's going to be in the video somewhere. You'll have to keep on watching. <laughs> I like having fun. Let's take care of some channel housekeeping work. We've been having a lot of Modern Steaders commenting, emailing us, Facebook messaging us, going all over to our website <clears throat> and leaving messages saying, hey, we wish you had a donate button or you had a Patreon so we could help support the channel. We don't, and I don't have a problem with that, but if we're gonna be having people donate to the channel, I wanna give back a little bit. And I understand why they wanna help and donate. They said this is their way to help support the channel and to give back a little bit. We give them a whole bunch and they wanna be able to help us. And that's awesome, I love that. That's community right there. But what I'm gonna do, is if you're gonna support us we're gonna give back even more so we're working on a patreon page we've had a lot of people asking us about patreon we've had a lot of people asking about more in-depth pig harvesting videos more in-depth how to butcher chicken start to finish and all those videos i could make and upload to patreon and also the videos that i can make for patreon can be tailored for the modern steaders that are over there. Yeah, I can make a video for whatever you want to see. If you want to know an in-depth, I don't know, but we could do it over there. I don't have to worry about making the video so it would be more popularly viewed. So we're going to do the Patreon page. I'm working on it. I'd love to hear your feedback and your comments on it. I've got a couple of videos. I have two videos edited already. They're not on Patreon. Patreon's halfway set up. I need to finish setting that up. But leave it in the comments down below. Let me know how you feel about the Patreon page, what you think we could do with the Patreon page. And I'm not sure about the whole pricing structure yet. This is just something new to me. I've been kicking it around. I think it would work out pretty good. I'd love to hear your feedback. Leave it down below, good or bad. I got thick skin. Um, we're working on the shirt. I believe we should be getting our shirts in the mail. Maybe by the time this video is uploaded, we'll have gotten our shirts in the mail. I've been working on making the store on our website, so you can go over to the store, order them. It's gonna be third-party shipping, just to let you know. I'm not shipping the shirts. The guy who's making the shirt, you're gonna order a shirt. I'm gonna send him the order. I'm gonna pay for the shirt. He's gonna get your address, and he's gonna make them, print them, and ship them. So you should have your shirts within seven days of placing your order. That's the plan. At first, depending on how many modern setters order stuff, it could be a little bit longer. But seven days you should have it. That's awesome. Shh. The goal is within three days of ordering, you can have your shirt. I'm not promising that. The answer is yes. We are going to be doing a spring pig harvesting class here at Lumna Acres with Hand Hewn Farm. We're just working out all the little details. When it's going to be, what how we're going to structure the class. We already harvested the pigs from start to finish. I myself would like to have more of an advanced class. Have the class on, okay, once the pig's in half, we have half a pig lying on the table, spend two to three days. What can we do with it now? What beautiful food, meat, cures, cuts, sausage can we make with this beautiful pig? There's so much you can do. We barely touched on it. And I think that's awesome. A lot of the modern steaders don't raise pigs, which is fine. We couldn't raise pigs for the longest time, but a pig is a beautiful animal. There's so much we can do with it. I'm not going to go off too much on that right now, but there's so much you can do. Just because you can't raise a pig doesn't mean you couldn't get half of a pig brought to your house. Go support a local farmer. You could get half a pig and then you could follow along with what we're doing. You could build a cold smoker in your backyard, in your garage. They make awesome electric smokers too nowadays for I think two, three hundred bucks. I mean, you can spend a lot more if you want to, but you could even get an electronic smoker. We could all have fun doing this. We could also learn how to make our own bacon, how to smoke it. We can make prosciutto so we can hang in your living room for a year above your bed, make a copa that'll hang for six months, bacon, I mean, the sausage. Gina's already like, man, we're getting low on our breakfast sausage. So don't worry, we're gonna have more pigs in the freezer before you know it. 
It's amazing the delicious food you can make. And all the modern steaders could do this. So I'm thinking that's the direction we're going to take the class. I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. Enough of me talking. I'm going to go unload my firewood. When you see me back here, we're going to be checking on prosciutto and copa. We're going to check on the chickens. And then we're going to do a giveaway at some point. I'm going to announce the giveaway. You don't want to miss that. Hold on tight. I'll be right back. Many of you already know I had a yard bird chicken plucker and it broke on me. Jason from Coops and More sent me a new one. So that means right now I have three chicken pluckers. The broken one that I need to send back to Yardbird. And then I have a one that Yardbird sent me for warranty to replace that one. And then I got my new one from Coops and More. That works awesome. I don't need two pluckers. So this is what we're gonna do. The, I'm not giving away the Coops and More one. I'm sorry, you can't have that one. But the Yardbird one that's still in the box, I'll show it to you in a minute. We're going to give that away. This is what we're going to do. When we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're going to pick three people and we're going to give away the Yardbird chicken plucker. And I'll ship it to you. I'll pay the shipping. You get a plucker for free and free shipping. I know not all modern steaders need a chicken plucker. So we're going to pick three names. I'll announce those three names when we hit 20,000 subscribers. I'm not going to be emailing everybody. I want this to be a fair contest and I want modern steaders to win, people that watch the channel. So when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're doing a normal video and we'll pick three winners. The first winner can choose if they want the plucker or a shirt. And then after that, the other two get Alumni Acres t-shirt. We're only going to be shipping to inside the United States for the plucker. So if I pick your name and you're outside of the United States, you can have Alumni Acres t-shirt and we'll pay to ship that to you internationally. And we'll pay the shipping rate on that also. So this is how you're going to enter to win. You're going to go over to alumniacres.com and sign up for our newsletter. So here's the good part. If you've already signed up for the newsletter, you're already entered in in a chance to win the Yardbird Chicken Plucker or Alumni Acres shirt, whatever one you choose. You might be thinking I'm crazy, and that's like more than double the subscribers we already have. It is, but I know you can do it. The way we're gonna get there is from you sharing our videos, the videos you love. Share this video on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Tell them, hey, come on over to Alumni Acres, they got great content. And for a little freebie, you have a chance to win a $500 chicken plucker. That's crazy. A $500 chicken plucker and it's probably going to cost at least $100 to ship it. That's a $600 value. You get great content. Even better, if we can do this by Christmas, some modern steader would have an awesome Christmas present. Either way, we're going to be there by springtime. So whoever wins is going to be plucking this year's meat birds, not this year, sorry, 2018 meat birds with their brand new chicken plucker. It's still in the box. So even if it breaks on you, they should cover it under warranty. There it is, brand new in the box. We haven't done anything to it except remove the shipping label. No, you're not getting that one. You have a chance to win this one. Got my firewood brought in. So we bring in a week's worth of firewood at a time. That way it can warm up. And the warmer your firewood is, believe it or not, it puts off more BTUs. So that'll last us the week. Now that we got the channel housework done and I brought my firewood in, let's go have some fun, check on the pigs and the chickens. We had a modern steader asking in the comments, why do I always shut my charger off? I shut it off when I get off most of the time because it's loud and obnoxious. And I don't like listening to it when I'm editing the video and it's hard to hear me with it running and I don't think you want to hear it all the time running either. Alright, let's give them some water. That hot water outdoor spigot is amazing. <gasps> They're out and it's snowing out. Hey Pesciuto and Copa, what are you doing? We're going to get some good footage of you today, you're out. You're not hiding in the hay. I like it. Oh, you finally came out and ate all the food I gave you this morning. You had a smoggish bog in there, didn't you? They're still skittish. 
the farmer we got them from has had these out on pasture their whole life. They were even born outside. They were in his barn for a week. The week before we got them, we picked them out and he kept them in for us. And I'm going to say they're probably a good 100 pounders. They're cute. They're going to make nice spring pigs for us. I don't know if you'd call them piglets right now. But they'll get friendlier the more they get to know me. They're going to realize and think of me as food. Every time they hear our front door open, they're going to run out to greet me or whoever comes out because not because they want to see me, but they're going to relate us to food and know, hey, every time this dingbat comes outside, he's bringing us either something to drink or to eat. That's food. So that's why they like us. They don't get attached to us like we can get attached to them. They're animals. And they're great animals. I love them. You ready for some water? You're curious, but you're spooky. We're not going to hurt you. They'll settle down shortly. What? Yeah. We're not going to hurt you. Still up their water dish. Copa. Yeah, you Copa. You're curious of us. You're just skittish. You want to check us out? Yeah, she wants to come over and say hi. What? I can see you smell us. Do we smell good? How's the tote treating you? You guys look like you're nice and warm every time I come out and you're bundled up in the hay. Right, prosciutto? Yep. I like going for the warm water. Oh yeah. I bet that feels good in the belly. So they figured out the feeder. I had to prop it open for like a half hour to an hour. Then they figured it out, learned where food was. They know where water is already. Yep, we got some loose chickens. That's all right, they've been going in at night, except for Andy. He roosted up in an apple tree. We need to fix and finish winterizing New York City. Let me give you Mr. Biggs, please. Always interrupting. So what I was going to say is we need to get some metal fencing or chicken wire around the bottom of the coop. We're gonna put a tarp over the cattle panel. Same on the other side. Get some chicken wire. Oh, Mr. Biggs, you gotta be patient with him. Chicken wire under. So the chickens will sleep and they'll have free roam of the coop during the day and locked in at night. During the day, they can go into the greenhouse and we'll let them free range every once in a while too, like they are right now. I had plans of coming out this morning and getting the chicken coop all enclosed so the chickens can't escape. But it was raining out. And I don't like coming out and playing in the rain in the winter time. It's probably 30 degrees right now. It's snowing. This morning I think it was 34 and raining. Yeah, I'm not gonna come out and play in that kind of rain. It's miserable. So thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. Don't forget to share the video. The quicker we get to 20,000 subscribers, if we can do it before Christmas, three modern steaders are gonna get three awesome Christmas presents. Two t-shirts and one lucky winner is gonna get a chicken plucker. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to start seeing people building the $30 chicken coop in 30 minutes. One lucky winner is gonna be able to build his own $30 chicken coop raise his own meat birds, or her own meat birds, sorry, their own meat birds, 
and process themselves with an automatic plucker. That's exciting. I want everybody to have fresh meat on their table that they grew. You just can, can't compare that to store-bought. I'd love to see that happen to everybody. I'm gonna end the video here. We have friends coming over for dinner. We're cooking them a pork roast. The first pork roast we're cooking so far. Oh, I love having friends over and ruining all their food for them. We had friends over last weekend and we made ribs. Yeah, he said, thanks for ruining the ribs for us. I said, no problem. Come over some other time, we'll have bacon. <laughs> this time we're having a family and friends over and they're gonna have a pork shoulder roast. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.